Hi, my name is Ilma and uh, I've been doing Christian blogs for uh, ten and a half years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 39 verses 7 to 13. Here's God's word. And now, O Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of the fool. I am mute, I do not open my mouth, for it is you who have done it. Remove your stroke from me. I am spent by the hostility of your hand. When you discipline a man with rebukes for sin, you consume like a moth what is dear to him. Securely all mankind is a mere breath, Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give my ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am a sojourner with you, a guest, like all my fathers. For look away from me that I may smile again before I depart and am no more. Psalm 39, verses 7 to 13. And here's the poem I wrote based, uh, inspired by this psalm. Deliver me from my wrongdoings. My Lord, I plead you to deliver me from my wrongdoings. Do not let me follow my nature and satisfy my cravings. Without your spirit, I will not be able to praise you. Without your love, I will be dis desperate and without hope. I confess to you all my sins. Forgive me for, forgive me for displeasing you. Discipline me constantly so I won't get waylaid and lost. Give me strength to face all temptations with courage. Never leave me so I can triumph over evil and be righteous. Rescue me from the flesh that keeps me away from your will. Keep me in your love so that I will please you and turn away from sin. Grant me peace that surpasses all understanding and give me wisdom. I will be lost without your mercy, amazing grace, and steadfast love. Reflection. How can a believer stay on track on following God's will in this crazy world? There is a devotion for the... Uh, uh, one of the first things that we should do is to be devoted to God, to God's Word. And the way to do that is to have a personal relationship with the Lord. And when you do that, you will want to seek His Word. You will want to abide uh, in his ways, in his truth, and so even in the midst of this craziness that happens in our world today, you will still know the truth and it sets you free. That says that in his word. So another way of uh, staying on track, following God's will, is to be with the body of, uh, with the communion of saints, with the body of Christ because uh, we are supposed to encourage each other. We're supposed to be able to uh, carry each other's burden and, and encourage each other and uh, be there when one is going through something. So these are just some of the things, but I think that a real personal relationship with the Lord, communicating with God every day, prayers, which is very important, because without prayers, you can't go on living in this crazy world without being affected by it. And walking in the spirit, walking in love, doing everything in the spirit of love and in the spirit of following God, then you will be able to uh, stay on track on following Jesus. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching, and God loves you, and so do I.